Hey baby, it's Echo here. Um, today we will be continuing our teacup playthrough. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. All right. I turned the music down, so I hope that that makes a difference. Are you guys enjoying the game so far? I think it's super adorable. I'm in love with it. Here you are. I couldn't let you beat me again, so I ran as fast as I could to get back home. You can come whenever you want mint and grab some. I don't use it much. You drink it? I had no idea you could use it for that. Hmm. I'll have to try it someday. Yay, we got mint. Cool. Oh, pretty. Wait, is that a map I see? And quite an old one. Mind if I take a peek? Cartography. Cartography <laughs> is one of my multiple talents, you know? Let's see. Bah, it's so faded that it is barely of any use at all. Allow me to fill in some missing paths. There we go. Now you should have no problem exploring the rest of Little Pond. Ooh. It was nice meeting you, little froggy. Yeah, I am a little froggy. <laughs> Alright. Um, mint? Well, I mean, he said that. Or he gave us mint, so I think that's it. That's it. Is there anything to do over here? No. Okie dokie. Oh, this looks like Katrina's tent from Animal Crossing. It's huge though. Oh my god, look how tiny I am. What a mysterious looking tent. It seems no one is home though. Hmm. Maybe a wizard lives there. Seems like today is laundry day in the meadow. It is. How do I view the map again? How small she is. <laughs> oh man, I thought I could just walk around it. Okay. Um. Okay. I guess we'll just go this way. <laughs> Can we go into your house, Mr. Salamander? Dang it. We cannot. Sorry, I don't know why I was holding the down button. Okay. So, we can go to West Forest now. I believe. Um, should we go back to the market? Mm, let's check out West Forest. Oh wait, no, this is where we live. What am I doing? <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Okay, so pond, meadow, east forest, villa, plaza, market. We haven't been to the plaza. Oh, hello everyone. I'm assuming you might be the owner of that tent. Adora. Hello there, teacup. Yes, this is the first time we meet, but the cosmos told me you would come out today. Would you like to have your fortune read? It might help you on your journey for tea. <gasps> she knows about our secret mission. Okay, let's see what we got here. You have been preoccupied and felt anxious about the future. Yet you have a lot of potential. You need your family and friends to feel truly happy. 
but they do not always understand your distress, and you have been afraid to bother them with your problems. You are currently struggling with your independence. Fortunately, this situation should not last since a new dynamic is moving into your life. This should help you regain the confidence you had before and the natural opti optimism <laughs> that represents you so well. Sorry, I'm not that good at reading. <laughs> the cards indicate a rapid gain, which could happen during the season of summer. The unexpected gain will do you a lot of good and allow you to replenish yourself. You will be overjoyed and share the news with your loved ones. Celebrate it properly. It is important to celebrate important moments in life. This will help you treasure the memory forever. Many good things await you. You've heard the cards. You just have to continue ahead on your journey. Tea? Oh, sure. My sixth sense tells me it's underground. It's pink. I see a lot of pink. There's nothing more I can tell you, but this information shall surely be enough. Um, okay. Well, that reading was like freakishly accurate to my actual life. That was kind of weird. Hello, I have the latest news. Wait, no, I can't tell you. You have to buy a newspaper and read it. Why? Well, that's just how it works. Well, if news isn't your thing, I also have the latest edition of Weekly Cloud Guide. It's a favorite among professionals and among professional and hobby cloud watchers alike, you know? Ah, so the problem is you don't have any cash on you. Well, this is awkward. No, but I want the Cloud Weekly. That sounds so cute. Oh my god, a sloth! Wait, that's not a sloth? What are those called again? Pan- pangolins? Pangolins? <gasps> that's even cuter! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, let's talk to wannabe Apollo here. T ridiculous. I worry about real life problems like blah 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 blah. Mm, leave it to the American Eagle to be a-, a bitch. Oh, let me talk to the pangolin. Adora told me it was a lucky day for me, but I just tripped. Oh, probably getting luckier now. Oh my god, you're so precious. What a sweetheart. What do you want? Some people are just so rude. Oh, hey, do you want? What do you want? Cookies? Huh. Sorry, this person made me mad. <laughs> You're friends with Lyndon. He mentioned something about a picnic in the pond before leaving for his break. Cookies are his specialty, so you should you so you should better go and ask him. He did have some errands to run though, so he might still be doing that. Well you're no help. Tar said to go find Lyndon by the pond. Oh. Maybe I'm no help. Can I have a balloon? Can I have a balloon, please? I could buy some sweets later. What a cute little kitty! These characters are so cute. I wonder where my old card is right now. Is this a wolf? You're kindly invited to the theater play we will be presenting this afternoon at this very spot. Okie dokie. Teacup, you're out! Are you okay? Oh, that's good. What brings you to the plaza? I bet it's because of the festival. Yeah, it's the town anniversary. You didn't know? Oof. With all these preparations, I almost forgot about the tea party. That explains why you're out and about. I'll be there tomorrow for sure. So this is what you're looking for. Sorry, tea. I don't know really where to get any of the tea herbs you need. 
Maybe Vincent could help you. He likes to drink tea every once in a while. If you walk a bit further, you should find him working at the post office. And if you're going to the post, if you don't mind, could you please mail <laughs> my monthly manga order for me? Awesome. Okay. Alright, here we have a monkey. Looks like the theater company will be performing soon. La, 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 la. Nothing important. Oh my god, a turtle! Hi, turtle! Should I go fly a kite? I'm not sure I'm ready for such an adrenaline rush. Ah, what a cutie! And so are you, you little chickadee! Can't talk right now. I'm busy thinking. Okie dokie. Oh my god, a skunk! Nostalgia blue. That flavor has me recalling things I've never e even lived. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, you guys. Is that a bat? Is the mare a bat? I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. Hello, Mr. Mare. I hadn't thought about it, but a lighthouse seems like an excellent way to attract tourists. It's a it's a bat! Ah. <laughs> what do we have here? Wow, lots of activity here today. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know I could actually come in here. Oh, it's like a rug shop. Fancy designs. Hello. Hmm, sorry, I can't help you right now. I'm having some trouble. Don't you see? The carpets have come alive. I knew there had to be some kind of trick. These last ones were really cheap. You're looking for tea? Yeah, I have some jasmine, but now really isn't the best time. I know, the magicians. I need your help, frog. I'll give you the jasmine, but first you need to get the magicians and ask them for something to put these rugs down. You can find them- Oh! <gasps> That's where- Okay, got it. Okay, so we have to go to the pond, and then we have to go to Katrina's tent. And that is what we will be doing this episode. Yay! Wait, wasn't I supposed to go to the post office? There we go. <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay. What a mess. Hundreds of letters. Um, we're supposed to do the mail thingy. Um, okay. More letters. I wonder if that's going to be important information. <gasps> a pigeon! Cute. Welcome to the post office. How may I help you? I see Mr. Bol Bertol's monthly mango order. I'll add it to my to-do list. Yes, the office is a mess. Don't judge me. The mayor absolutely insisted on making this limited edition stamp collection. I spent the whole week working on it and I will barely finish on time. He wanted some memorabilia to immortalize this year's edition of the town's anniversary. Ah, you notice the honey aroma in the air. It's my tea. Can't you tell where I got it? It's a secret, you see. Oh, can't tell you where I got it, okay. You know what? Let me show you the stamps. Let's see if you can organize them and form the image. If you can do that, I'll tell you where to get honey. Okay, another puzzle time. Oh, wowzers. From the picture. I can do it. Okay. So... It's gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> oh no, this one has to go here. Oh, oh! Well, I didn't know I could do it like that. Never mind, this actually won't be very hard at all. <laughs> okay, I'm 
almost got it. I did it! Yay! It was easy. Hmm. How about you try forming the picture by only swap- <sighs> I shouldn't have- I shouldn't have gotten all- oh, this isn't hard because now it's about to get really hard. <sighs> okay. So I can't do that now. Okie dokie. Mm. Okay. I did it again! Yay! <laughs> wow, if you manage this last one, I'll tell you the secret behind the honey. <gasps> it's the mare stamp! Oh my god, this one is difficult. More difficult. It's okay though, I got this. I'm a magical baby. <laughs> Oops, I was putting it the wrong way. We're doing it. Doing pretty good. Okay, dokie. Got the border all figured out. Yay! <laughs> all done. Oh my god, I love the noise he makes. He's so cute. Wow, you made it. As a prize, I'll tell you my secret. You know, Otto. He's keeping bees. They always provide him with honey. He's a kind soul, so I don't think he would mind giving you a bit. Um, Otto was one of the names we read here, wasn't it? Otto Owl. Oh, the owl! Okay. Let's go talk to Otto about his bees. Must be in his hive now. Or home. Not hive. Oh my god, it's so cute and cozy in here. Oh, precious. I love it. Hello. Hey, Teacup. Nice to see you again. How's the adventure going? You went to the post office. What a journey. You must have met Vincent. He's a nice fellow. A bit talkative for my taste, but nice all the same. Honey, why of course. I just gathered some this morning. Here you are. I'm sure your tea party will be a huge success. Yay, we got honey. Yay, so cute. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right. Should we still talk to him? He's still got like thought bubbles. Oh, you want to see the bees? You won't be able to see many today, only Daisy who guards the nest. They like to frolic around during the day, but always but they always come back to sleep at night. Um Alright. I guess. Alright. Um now I think we are going to go to let's go to the pond first. Well, here's the mayor. I think we're gonna have to talk to the hedgehog, though. I get I'm getting a strange feeling that the hedgehog is who we're going to need to speak to. Hello. Yeah, I was right. Hi, teacup. How are you? Are you ready for tomorrow? I'm really excited. Wow, you need some cookies? Not a problem. I can give you some leftovers from the morning for tomorrow. But only if you join us on our break. We're gonna have a picnic on the lake with Bertro. I brought some snacks. Oh, well, here he comes. Let's go. Oh, how cute! Thanks for your help. Keep rowing, T. The water is so calm. Here you can sometimes see creatures under the water, like the mysterious beast of Little Pond. 
Ooh. D -d don't say that. You know I don't like horror stories. Teacup, tell him to stop. T likes horror stories too. With its sticky body, it attacks poor little porcupines. Grah! Grah! <laughs> ah! Jeez, Bertroll. Maybe you could draw it, T. And we can flesh out the story like we used to do at school. Do you remember our paper puppet shows? Those are special. T used to make the best voices. Everyone thought we'd hire a professional. I still have an album with our paper cuttings. Good old times. It's starting to get hot here lately. We used to sail in coats and wool hats. Hmm? If we're here often. Yeah, T, sometimes Evangeline and Adele come too, but they had band practice today. I feel like I can relax here. Lyndon also stutters a lot less. You're always welcome too, T, you know? You should come around more often. Sometimes we read our mangas out loud and act them out, but our voice acting is nowhere near as good as yours. It's awesome that you came out right on the town's anniversary. That was a really creepy laugh. <laughs> Little Pond is a nice place. People are a bit silly, but hey, so are we. Yeah, it's great that you're here. It's a big step. There will always be a spot here for a frog like you. Anyways, Lyndon gave me a plant the other day. He called it Mel Eflol. I don't know what you expect, Lyndon. I'm too busy. <laughs> To keep a plant alive. I think he's the one who wanted it after all. He's the one actually caring for it. Why Meliflu? Good question, T. Lyndon, what's with that name? Hmm, I just thought it sounded nice. Well, I'm hungry. Can you pass me the snacks? Of course I can. Let me take them out. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no! Ah, uh, uh, bee! Aw, poor troll. You got the longest arms between us, teacup. Would you mind pulling the picnic out of the water? For sure. Oh no, Virgil dropped the picnic basket. Move your hand over an object and hold the interaction button to pick it up. Drag the all the object. I can't read. <laughs> Drag all the objects upward to pull them away into the boat. Got you. Got you. Got. Got you. Got you. Got you. Gotcha. Yay. Woohoo. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Just splash it in the water. Thanks, T. Sorry we dropped our snacks. Don't worry about it, Virgil. I think we can dry off most of these things. I think it's time to get back. Mr. Felicio must be looking for me. Tar must be opening the bakery, too. Yeah, you're right. We're gonna run on ahead, Teacup. But you know where to find us. Come by the bakery later, and I'll give you some cookies. Well, that was cute. That was a fun little interaction there. Um, so the mayor's here now. Does he have a different dialogue option? Hello, teacup. How I, how I know your name? It's my authority. Oh my god. It's my duty as the amazing mayor. I am to know all my subject citizens. <laughs> Cute. I saw your race with Salamandro. I've been here all day. Sunbathing is the best sport. You know, because of the vitamin. Alright. Oh, hello, little fox. Oh my god, a bear. So cute. I, I, I keep saying cute, cute, cute. But you know what? You know what, you guys? This game is cute. And I'm not gonna apologize for that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, 
So I don't think I can talk to those little babies down there. I know I can go into the lighthouse, but I think we should stick to our original goals for today. I'm looking for sandcastle builders. Do you have a CV? I do not. There we go. I figured it out. <laughs> it took me a minute, but I figured it out. Alright, now let's go to the meadow. Oh, the lighting is different. I was wondering how they were going to make it seem like nighttime and stuff. Like how that would work. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm making sense. <laughs> Hopefully the magicians are home. Oh, do I have to find the magicians? Oh, but Pankrati told you to look for the magicians here. You call out and hear a voice beckoning you to enter. Ooh. Oh my god, it's a frog! Another froggy! And is that a, an alligator? I'm not gonna say cute. Adorable. <laughs> oh, look! Lakovu, a frog. Correct, Vitano? Vitiano? Correct, Vitiano, like you. Salutations, little amphibian. Interested in the mysteries of existence, the other world, that which is beyond the reach of Deans? 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 That's science, Vitiano. <laughs> yeah, she understood. She said yes. Welcome, then. We have a mission for you. Oh, got another mission. What mission? Oh, 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 right. The magnificent mission. You must find the cauldron of life. It looks like a teapot, but it's not. It also works like a teapot, but it's not. That's right. The cauldron lies in the darkest nooks and crannies of our fent. Tent. <laughs> Slander. Lakovu. I remember the shopkeeper clearly saying Fent. That was his accent. Nobody in that garage sale spoke our language. Alright. <laughs> These two are so cute! Are you cunning enough for this task, little amphibian? Well, if you're willing to find the cauldron, here's a list of some other stuff I need and can't find. <laughs> Vidiano. What? She already said yes. Go. We'll be waiting here. <laughs> oh my god, I love them. They're so funny. Okay. So it's just like one of those mystery puzzle games. Let's see what we can find. Here's the umbrella. Um... Oh, here's the necklace. Excuse me. Do I have to move things out the way? Okay, maybe that's not the necklace. <laughs> um, what else can I find? I do not see... There's that teapot, but I don't see this one. This one right here that we need to get. Oh, I found it. Yay! Okay, now let's look for this clock. This big old clock. <laughs> Do you see the clock anywhere? I do not. Where are you, Mr. Clock? Oh, here's this thingy. Nice, nice. Um. Hmm. This clock is really hidden. Oh, here's the peach. Yay! I'm gonna find everything else except for the clock. Watch. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Um, okay. Glasses right here. Got them. Um. Let me try again. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. <laughs> um, what else? 
do we need to find? Oh, here's the key. Okay. Is this the eight ball? Oh no, eight ball's up here. Yeah! <laughs> oh, in the sailboat. Okay, so we just need to find the clock and the envelope. Hmm. Oh, envelope. Okay, now just the clock. Oh, I found it! Okay, ready guys? We did it! Yay! <laughs> you picked up the cauldron of life to take it to Lakovu and Vitiano. A strange smell emits from the teapot. Ooh, you feel dizzy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm going to end the video right here on that cliffhanger. So make sure you tune into the next episode to find out what happens to Little Teacup. I really hope that you guys are enjoying this playthrough. This game is so much fun. I'm really enjoying it, so I hope that you guys are too. Also, I don't want to be, like, annoying about this or anything, but I just wanted to, like, my voice cracked there. <laughs> but I, I just wanted to say real quick that I do have a Discord server, and it will be linked down below. Consider this your official invitation to join. It's mainly centered around my channel, but it's basically just, like, a community for all of, all of us little cozy babies to, you know, be little together. <laughs> Um, caregivers, middles, switches, non-community, non-sexual, sexual, all of that, like littles, everybody is basically welcome as long as you are over the age of 18. Um, and you have to respect the rules of the Discord server. One of the most important rules being that it is a non-sexual Discord server. And it is not a meeting Discord server, so don't like try to join for the hopes of getting a little or getting a caregiver. It's not that kind of a place, so... Just follow the rules and have fun. I hope to see you in my Discord server. Okay, I don't have anything else to say. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next little video. Bye-bye.